With so many strains on the public purse, it's not surprising that some council sports facilities have become rather old and tired and more a drain on the neighbourhood purse than an asset. Alliance Leisure Services specialises in breathing new life into ageing sports and leisure centres and reinventing them as vibrant and inclusive modern facilities. John Briggs packed his trainers for this report from Lancaster. Welcome to Salt Air, the pride and joy of Lancaster City Council's leisure division. But it wasn't always like this. It used to be quite a grotty sort of place. You'd be in and out, done your sport and go home. You wouldn't hang around usually. I think to be brutally honest, it, it looked and felt tired and old um, and was offering a, a fairly traditional set of, uh, set of things for people to come and, and be attracted to, which of course they weren't. Salt Air used to be an ageing drain on council resources. In fact, at one point, they even offered it for sale for just a pound. So in an effort to turn around the £800,000 annual loss, Lancaster City Council invited Alliance Leisure to help them. Well, Alliance are, are a really good innovator in this market. They really challenge the delivery, they bring new ideas to bear, and they recognise that for some people, traditional sport is not what they want. So let's create a destination and let's create a variety of offers. What did they suggest? It was, it was a number of things really, it was about modernising the offer, it was about making sure that our marketing was, was of a really high standard to try and attract new customers, um, and, a, and a whole range of, of new attractions that obviously you're going to see today. But getting that investment agreed wasn't easy. Understandably, the council didn't want to be seen to throw good money after bad. It was a very, very close vote in the council, and uh, I, if I remember rightly, there were a couple of uh, there were a couple of adjournments where we had to go and, and try and sit down and talk through the, the process to people. And when you hear the difficulty that it went through the council, why was that the case? Because the the, the benefits are so enormous. But the end result meets with everyone's approval. I like you on the slide. Well, I like going on the pampelino over there. Well, it means you can come um, and do everything in one place, um, whereas we used to have to go to several different places. When you see here, we've turned a, a very heavy subsidy into a break-even position within three years. That's a phenomenal change, and that's including paying back the capital that they needed to invest. And the return isn't purely financial. The social cohesiveness benefits are a big part of the package. You see a community coming together, you see social connections being made, you see young people getting out of the house together with their families and spending great time together, quality time together as a family. Salt Air now boasts Europe's first outdoor flight tower and a high intensity training zone. And they're building a luxury spa as well. These are more the sort of facilities you expect from a five star hotel than a local authority. And since the investment and joint venture with Alliance Leisure, membership has really begun to climb and that partnership's worked incredibly well when it comes to things like gym membership, for instance, which has gone from 600 there or thereabouts within a year to 2,600 in the space of 12 months. What happens when you invest, when you reimagine them, when you breathe life into them for the modern age, is that people flock to them, they come back, and as a result of coming back, it reduces the cost to the local authority. It's the most fantastic win-win, it creates jobs, it's better for the environment, and local communities love the facilities too. So it's one of those rare areas of public policy where every stakeholder gets a win out of it. Probably at any one time, we've got 30, 40 projects in active development, from aquatic centres up in Real, down to small gym refurbishments in Hatfield, so we work the length and breadth of the, of the country. So if a day at the gym is something you'd rather put off, then a day at Salt Air is something the whole family can join in with. And if you're a local authority that is putting off investing in your leisure facilities, then Alliance Leisure can hold your hand while you take a leap of faith. Can you say this is a surefire guarantee then? Yes, we can, yes. We've got enough case law now to see that that is the case. Sometimes it makes me cross that other people are not seeing the, the opportunity and we, we really want to load them into a minibus and bring them here and show them. We know that this works and we want more people to, to go down this journey. We would come here three to four times a week now um, as opposed to twice a year. First thing the boys say when they wake up is they want to come to Salter.